Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I think we have a very interesting Wednesday on FIFA 23 ahead of us, especially because the next promo coming this Friday should be announced today via a loading screen. That is the out of position promo that we have a car design for. We'll take a look at that. I'm not going to talk about the promo too much today, but what I'm really going to talk about is how it really could start to impact the market and how we could start to see some prices dropping because people see a loading screen for a brand new promo that they don't know about with a car design that looks pretty crazy and it's something that we've never seen before. So I want to talk about that potential and what could be happening on the game today on Wednesday with some hype cards already leaked for the team of the week six dropping today, including Mbappe, and also talk about what could happen with ones to watch upgrades and SBC fodder going up, but we didn't have supply yesterday with UEFA marquee matchups. Very interesting move by EA Sports. There's a lot to talk about today, so buckle and get ready for it. Drop a like if you're enjoying the videos and subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about the kind of the main piece of content for today on Wednesday related to what's coming this weekend, and that is, I believe, a loading screen now we won't dive into the, this promo too much yet because i think we could get some more information from esports today but this is the car design this was tweeted last friday right we've known about this car design for a couple of days i just th think about if you're a casual player logging into fifa today and you see this car design on the loaded screen and it says out of position coming in one day 23 hours you're gonna be like oh that's pretty crazy like that's a wild card design something that we've really never seen before that i guess like colorful and kind of just out of this world cartoonish and crazy so that almost gives a sense and a feel for what the promo might be like but again all we know is the promo is called out of position because that's what this car design is called and this is the design so just like we've gotten on wednesdays i would expect to see a, a loading screen today that says out of position or something like that uh, coming in one day, 23 hours, and maybe an EA tweet giving us just a little bit more information about what the promo might be like. But what I think that could kind of begin is the start of some market drop off and the start of basically this really high market that we are in right now. I think you might start to see some prices start to slide down. I'm not trying to create panic today. I'm not trying to tell you that you have to sell cards from your team right now whatsoever. That's the exact opposite of what I'm telling you. I'm just saying that there might be an opportunity to sell some cards for a little bit more today um, before those prices could continue and, and could start to fall off a little bit. I mean, especially I think of gold cards, right? Gold cards this weekend. Think about it. If people have not been very hyped during this Rule Breakers promo, they're going to be saving their rivals rewards come tomorrow and Thursday. They're going to be saving marquee matchups packs come Thursday. And a, a bunch of people are probably going to start saving player picks, 75 plus player picks starting even today to open for this new promo if the leaks start looking good. So I just think that with how high the market is right now, if we scroll through even just a couple of the different promo teams, even the promo cards that are in packs right now, Ribery is 880. That's up 100K from where he was on Sunday. Tiago, Ramos, Sissoko, Havertz, all of these guys have risen in price in the past couple of days because the content has been lackluster and there has not been a lot of supply. And that's how the rest of the market is reacting as well. Your road to the knockouts are up. Your ones to watches are up. Your out of packs informs. Salah is like 630,000 coins. Some of your team of the week one informs. De Bruyne is like 700K and Sun is 500,000 coins. Inform Valverde 200K. That's the highest he has ever been since he has gone out of packs. Same thing with like Leao and Ben Yedder. Those guys just keep going up. It just feels like the market right now is very, very high and very kind of stagnant at this high price. And I just think that a loading screen today would start to begin. What we normally see on Wednesdays is a slight dip on the market. We usually see that, right? Because people start to get worried about the supply from division rivals rewards and the supply from marquee matchups and the promo that's coming on the weekend and stuff like that. But I think a loading screen could maybe accelerate that panic selling and get people thinking about this promo because let's be honest, Rule Breakers has been a bit of an L, right? It's been lackluster, and that means there's a lot more built-up anticipation for this next upcoming promo. I also think what has a big, 
big impact on how hype and how much panic we're gonna see in the promo and starting today because of this promo is gonna be the leaks. I really think that the leaks that we see from Foot Sheriff and from guys on Twitter are really gonna set the tone for how this promo is gonna hit the market. So if we start seeing big time player names out there and really insane position changes or kind of get a grasp of what this promo is gonna look like, I'm expecting a lot of leaks in the next two days that's going to really set the vibe for this market in this promo as well. So again, right now it's all anticipatory, right? We're just kind of waiting to see what happens, but I think I would rather be um, proactive about selling some cards in the market instead of reactionary to whatever leaks and content drop. That's why I think it's not a bad time to sell some of your cards because I do think that with saved up packs this weekend and I do think that just with a really insane hype promo potentially dropping, there could be card prices dropping in the next couple of days uh, that would make it worth it to sell and then look to rebuy uh, at some point on maybe Friday um, when prices are lower. We should see a good amount of panic selling, I think, on Friday again. We have not seen that in the last couple of weeks. So um, again, I'm not saying the market's going to absolutely die today. Like I'm not saying that whatsoever. I just think that it could be the beginning of some prices going down. Now, let's talk more about today because even some of the panic and some of the hype related to today on Wednesday is for the team of the freaking week, man. Team of the week six is already leaked with three big boy players in it. A ones to watch Delict, who's going to get a double upgrade today. His OTW with the three win wins to watch upgrade and the inform is going to go from an 85 to an 87. We'll talk about that card in a second. But of course, headlining this week's team of the week, Mbappe and Usman Dembele. And this leak right here. Um, you know, I, I think it's got a lot of people really excited for this team of the week, and it kind of just injects a bit of hype into what's been uh, a pretty quiet Rule Breakers promo. Again, despite a couple really exciting days, like the Hero Pack and stuff like that. But of course, you've got the gold card for Usman Dembele yesterday, going from 60,000 coins, this leak coming out, and he's skyrocketed up to 66,000 coins. Gold Mbappe is rising up as well, as of course, people anticipate his gold card going out of packs. And then, of course, this inform being super duper expensive uh, whenever it would drop on the game today and of course throughout the weekend but what this really shows me is a lot of times when EA put out a really sick team of the week that means the promo that comes on the weekend is also really sick and they're trying to sell those packs and you can tell right this is also what EA does right they'll drop a couple weeks of content that are just a little bit okay, right? We keep using the words lackluster and L. Uh, I guess that's a letter, not a word. But we just keep using that sort of um, descriptive terms to describe how this Rule Breakers promo has been. But it seems like with this team of the week and the leaks we could be seeing for out of position, EA kind of do this like quiet week or two, and then they hit us hard with another big time promo and it causes some panic and it causes prices to go all over the place. And that's what I think we're going to have here. So this team of the week six today with Mbappe and Dembele, some other really good potential uh, players that could be in it as well. Watch for more leaks today as we get closer to content. I think that's just the beginning of the leaks we're going to see in the next couple of days now speaking of today let's talk a little bit more exactly what content can we see of course the loading screen i would expect to see that today i would expect to see a silver stars and a new silver beast i believe yes the the jobby simons is going to be going away and silver beast expires today as well some people have been asking me nate are they going to finally require silver informs as one of the things in here Maybe, uh, although it's still only been, what, five now, today's six team of the week, so there haven't been that many silver team of the week cards. I guess EA is maybe waiting to require those. I'm not sure, or maybe they're not going to require them at all, so I'm not entirely sure about that one there. Um, I guess maybe since we did not have it yesterday, could there be an off chance for UEFA marquee matchups? I guess there's a little bit of a possibility with that as well, but again, I really think that comes down to what, what is EA trying to do in the market today? If EA is really trying to start the crash and really move the market towards a lower place as we head into the weekend, they could drop UEFA marquee matchups today, but usually those are on Tuesdays. I was surprised not to see that yesterday. Guys, I really was because last year on Tuesdays of Champions League weeks, EA would drop UEFA marquee matchups like clockwork almost every single Tuesday. They didn't do it yesterday, so I was very surprised by that, but you can tell that they want this promo right now to be a little bit lackluster, and they want to keep the market high. I just get that, get that vibe from how everything is going 
on the game right now at the moment. So watch out for your UEFA marquee matchups. Slim chance for that today. But what's really big today are some upgrades for OTW cards. And the blanket statement I have to say here, you guys have been hearing me say this on the live streams. You guys have been hearing me say this even in the YouTube videos. Um, sell these guys in the hype. That's the key. Um, if you didn't have a good example of selling in the hype, look at what happened to Road to the Knockouts, Foden and Fede Valverde. We'll talk about those again in a bit. Uh, but a lot of these ones to watch cards with the content being so, you know, average. Here we are using descriptive words about average, uh, you know, content and L promo, right? But these guys' prices are just up so much. Even the ones that are getting upgraded, their prices are up so much. Renato Sanchez is almost 500,000 coins. This is one of the biggest cards that's getting upgraded today. It's getting a plus three. So there, yes, there is a lot of hype here. And I know that these card prices have gone up so much, but again, the safe route, nine times out of 10, what you see is after a card gets an upgrade, especially if it's a ones to watch, uh, for a live card, the price ends up dropping afterwards because a lot of what builds the price up in the first place is that hype of the potential upgrade and the investors that wait to sell thinking it goes up afterwards. But again, for a lot of these cards, I mean, I really do think you're going to see their values drop today. Um, seeing Mbappe in Team of the Week makes me think that Holland is not going to be in, by the way. So keep an eye, close eye. If they put Holland and Mbappe in Team of the Week, that's scary. So I will not want to play weekend league if that's going to be the case. So watch out for leaks on that today. But I think that Holland's ones to watch will drop uh, based off of that. But guys like Mane, guys like uh, Chalmany, Rudiger, um, Delict, Renato Sanchez, those are some of the big names. Kessie's finally getting his plus two today. We're very excited about that. Di Maria's getting his upgrade as well. But just for the cards on the market, especially selling in the hype, in my opinion, is the way to go. And again, I mentioned the examples of the road to the knockout cards. Take a look at guys like Fede Valverde and Foden right now. Yesterday, pregame, these guys were up big. 860 for Fede Valverde. Of course, the reason why he was up so much is people expected Real Madrid to win yesterday against, um, against Leipzig and not lose like they did, but they expected Madrid to win and then, of course, he would have the potential to win the second game against Celtic and get a plus one upgrade for the wins upgrade. Um, and, of course, another plus one for qualifying. But this graphic from EA is not completely updated yet, by the way. This is on their website. It is a nice graphic. It's just not updated. But Fede Valverde and Phil Foden, since their teams did not win yesterday, they either lost, they either lost or drew. Those cards dropped down in price a bunch. Now, they've rebounded back up a little bit from their lows. Foden was like 300K for a quick second. He bounced back up to about 340 where he is now. Um, you know, yes, these guys can still get upgraded, but they can only get a plus one. And that plus one is not going to happen until November 4th because, yes, Madrid and City are going to move on to the knockout rounds. But since they drew or lost yesterday, the second circle here is going to be filled with uh, not a green up arrow. So there's no upgrade potential there. Now, Aubameyang is the good example of what happened yesterday and a card that is going to get upgraded this Friday. Aubameyang this Friday is going to go from an 89 rated to a 90 rated. He's going to get a plus one and a plus one only because the upgrades that are happening this Friday are for the wins. If a team has gotten two wins in the past two Europa League Knights game week uh, weeks, right? Two wins. That's the cutoff. That's the upgrades that happened this week. So again, Thomas Muller, if Bayern beat Barca today, of course, big game, he will get a plus one, but not a plus two. That second upgrade will come next Friday. So again, the upgrades to these guys are coming on Friday, the 28th, right? Is that a Friday? Yeah, I believe that's Friday, right? Yeah, EA said Friday the 28th is when the next upgrades go live. So they'll upgrade Aubameyang, any other of the players that are deserving. So if Spurs win today, if Liverpool win today, if Napoli win today, this Zambia and Guisa cards are a really big one to keep an eye on. Um, you know, Terrier for tomorrow, Wabasaka, Savio, Ikone, Paqueta, and Jared Moreno. A lot of the games tomorrow and Thursday actually have more hype than Champions League. But the best advice I can give you is sell into the hype. And honestly, don't even hold any of these guys post game. Like Aubameyang, post game, he's come back up a little bit now. Aubameyang was 620,000 coins during the game. Chelsea won. He went down to 600K and is now back up. I mean, he's not up enough to really try to flip that card. And I don't expect this card to rise too much, especially with what we think is going to happen with the market and a lot of stuff maybe tailing off 
in the next two days before Friday with this new promo being, uh, you know, leaked and, you know, loading screen and stuff like that. I'd be very, very careful with cards like this. But nine times out of 10, you see these cards drop below where they were pregame after the game as well because people expect them to go up and they start listing and the price actually ends up going down. So that's kind of what I would watch out for with those cards today. And, you know, let's talk about the fodder market a little bit too because you guys might be like, Nate, why did 85s not go up yesterday? Um, because the EA changed the requirements of the Team of the Week pack. And I was joking yesterday in the video when I said, oh, wait, guys, it could be... They just require three 84 pluses, and that's exactly what EA did. I can't believe we kind of nonchalantly called that, but still an 83 rated squad. But instead of the 185 or, or higher, you had to have three 84 or higher, and that has made the 84s go bananas on the market. And these cards are approaching 4K. It's crazy that this SBC has so much hype every single week. 85s are actually down a little bit. 86s are down. Your fodder has started to trickle off as we head into today on Wednesday, but your 84s went crazy because, of course, everybody was going out and doing this SBC. So that's what it comes down to all the time with SBC fodder, guys. I mean, it really just comes down to the specific requirements that EA has. Um, and, you know, it, the, the market on fodder could have been a lot different yesterday if we would have had UEFA marquee matchup. So I, I think what we said in yesterday's video still was very, very good because if you sold your fodder pre-6 p.m., it was good, right? I mean, look at Tiago. It's an 86-rated card. He was still 16K yesterday. He went down to 14K where he is now. So I think if you sold your fodder yesterday, all but 84s, um, you know, you were happy with the profit. Now, 84s, of course, went up because of those requirements. But that's, that's really tough to guess, right? And that's really tough to you know, really call what EA is going to do and calling the fodder movements, um, you know, is, is pretty tough sometimes. So GG's if you held the 84s, but also GG's if you sold your fodder yesterday before content, because that was kind of the max price uh, for that stuff there. Now for today on the market as well, like I said, I'm not expecting a really big market crash. Uh, what I would say is just be careful with holding any of your big tradable cards. I tried out Havertz yesterday. Fun, uh, Funny fact here, Havertz is the most used card in this promo team and you wouldn't expect that because he's a bit more expensive right 350k 47,000 games played according to footbin i think the second most used card is sissoko and he's got 35,000 games played emil smith row has a bunch there was one other card yeah i think it was emil smith row he has got 30,000 games played and maybe tiago's got a lot as well 29,000 but what i do is i kind of gauge the hype on a lot of these guys just to see how many games played they have, uh, because that'll tell you how much hype there is. 37,000 for Tony. But Kai Havertz runs away as the number one most used card. Even Lacroix only has like, yeah, 16,000 games. You're like, really, Nate? Yeah, it's crazy, right? Payet's got 36 as well. But Havertz is winning, and Havertz is kind of... You know, looking at this card for an out of packs investment, I'm more and more interested in this card with an Abamyang upgrade, with how I guess meta this card is and how much hype that he has. Depending on who is in the promo team from Chelsea this upcoming weekend, this card might be something to watch. But we're all the rule breakers that are in packs now. If we get supply today, but with rewards tomorrow on Thursday and marquee matchups, I do expect this card and all the other rule breakers in packs to go down in price. So I'd be very careful with those. But if you're trying to make coins today, just try to stick to the rare stuff. Maybe fluctuation trading with a little bit of some icons or maybe uh, some other types of promo cards and special cards. Like I've got this Lucas Paqueta that I bought at 171. He's now approaching 190K. So I'm just kind of lazy listing some of these cards there, trying to sell those. I flipped an icon yesterday, flipped a Zambo that I bought. I don't even know where, sold them at 67. That's the kind of stuff that I'd be looking at today for the quick flips um, and for that sort of stuff because I just do feel like the market is gonna start to trickle off. Probably a decent time to sell some of the heroes that you guys maybe bought. Heroes went even higher yesterday. Um, you know, Yaya is almost 1.4 million coins. A lot of these guys that I look at, Marquisio, 700K. Harry Kuo, 300,000 coins. Govu, over 400. Smolarek, 350. Al Awarian's like 290. You know, like these guys even went up more after the craziness. Yeah, Al Awarian was 260 and then went to 290. So I think it's just a really decent time to sell off on some of the stuff before the crazy potential promo panic type stuff happens today on Wednesday into tomorrow and Thursday. 
and into Friday. So that's kind of the vibe of the video for today. But of course, it is kind of nice to have a market that is that is doing, wow, This I never saw this graphic here. It is kind of nice to see a market that's doing some bits. Um, and maybe this is EA's kind of like, hey, we're not doing marquee matchups, but here's some matchups that are happening this week that are fixtures to watch. I didn't even see the screen earlier in the day. That's pretty interesting. So I don't know what's going on with UEFA marquee matchups, but it just feels like the market right now is prime time to sell. And with a lot of potential panic that could be coming, we'll see if we have any market drops over the next couple of days. But if you enjoyed today's video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. We'll be on and covering the um, upgrade out of position promo here very soon, probably in tomorrow's video if we get any information that is good enough to cover. So again, if you enjoyed the video, do all those things I said, and I'll see you guys in the next one, and I'll see you on the stream today. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.